Yo guys, what's up? Monday to 6 here, back with 2004 Ford Sport Track. And today we're going to be installing this double den radio. It's brought to you by Boss. These are all the features it has right here. Hopefully it's going to be an easy install, but it's going to be a good upgrade replacement from the factory radio. Alright you guys, hope you enjoy. If you like this, there will be a link in the description where to purchase this double den Boss radio. Do a step inside the Sport Track here. Let's have a look at this factory radio. All right, we're gonna be uninstalling it. Should require moving the two screws at the bottom that are already removed, but that should take the outer bezel off so we're able to get to the radio. All right, just get your plastic trim removal tool here. Put it behind here. All right, looks like everything's coming out at once. Here we have everything behind the radio. If we want to go ahead and just disconnect the antenna and uh, the cigarette lighter outlet and the rear window right there. We'll just unplug everything so we can get the whole bezel with the radio free. Okay, now that we got the radio removed and all the connections disconnected, we have the radio and bezel over here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to dissect it and take the radio apart. We're going to separate it from the bezel. Okay, first thing we got to do in order to get the radio out, we got to take out the rear window control. That will require taking this button out, and then removing the two screws that hold it in. Okay, once we get the rear window control out, you will have one tab on each side that you will have to depress, just like this, in order to get the radio out. You'll just press the tabs like that, one on each side, and the radio should slide forward out of the bezel. There we go. These are the tabs that we depressed. And we have the bezel free of the stock radio. Okay, if you want to grab your brand new Boss radio or whatever double din that you have that you're going to replace the factory radio with, we're just going to try to install this in here and see if it fits. If not, we're going to have to trim out some of the plastic pieces around the bezel to get the double dent to fit. Okay, here we have the bezel. Double dent replacement. As you can see, the hole's a little too small for this double dent. Not the hole, just the uh, trim in the back. So, what we'll do, we'll take the radio, flip it over. Take the bezel here, and we'll see exactly what we need to trim on the back. Kind of just hold it up here on the back. I believe we'll grab a sharpie here, and we'll mark exactly what we need to trim out. And we're going to grab our Dremel set with like a cutoff wheel, and we're just going to trim this a little bit at a time and get it to fit. Okay, now that we got our sharpie marks on there. We're going to go ahead, we're going to trim out the little bit, and we're going to see if it fits. If not, we're going to give it a little bit more trimming. Let's go ahead and get this air conditioner vent out of the way. It'll give us a better angle to drill. Alright, we got the top all dremeled out. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do the same thing to the bottom. All right, we got everything trimmed up on the bezel here. We're gonna go ahead, see if it fits. All right. Nope. All right, looks like it fits pretty good. All right, in order to get the radio to stay into the bezel without it sliding in and out, I went ahead and bought this Scorpion uh, double den kit right here. It says all the vehicles that it's uh, applicable for and uh, just comes with these two brackets you put on the side and a uh, trim ring if you want to use it. But yeah, we'll install these on the side and this will help secure the radio to the bezel. Alright, that's pretty much how it works. You just take this piece, it anchors into the back, we'll screw it in here, sandwiches between the bezel and the radio. We got it on both sides here, just kind of squeeze them both in at the same time. 
and that will secure the back ear radio. All right, let's get some uh, Loctite on these screws and install them to the radio. All right, we got the radio and the bezel there looking good. Got all the hardware in there. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, bezel. That came with the uh, Scorpion X. I believe that one fits better than the stock trim that comes with this radio. Um, as you can see, it fills it in pretty nice, but I think we can go ahead and just trim this ring, the profile down a little bit, and we can get it to sit flush. Okay, I ended up getting the uh, sanding Dremel out. Looks like I dremeled the uh, edges off pretty well. You can see that's the lip that was on there. And this is what I got it down to. Put it on here. As you can see, it fits pretty good. Okay, here we are back inside the truck. We have the double den radio installed. I'm gonna go ahead, see if it fits. Uh, the hiccups. Looks like it's sitting in there flush pretty good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start the wiring process here. What we have here is a pigtail that connects to the factory radio harness, and it has the color code with what it is on it, and also the wires will be labeled what it is as well. So we're going to go ahead and connect this, and I'm going to go ahead just to make sure and test for 12 volt and see if everything else is correct. Right, here's the piggyback. Pretty much simply just uh, plug this to the uh, factory radio harness, and it's pinned out. And each one of these will be hard to read, but we'll say what it is, and the bag is also labeled what color goes to what. Went ahead and connected the piggyback to the factory radio plug, and I'm going to go ahead and just grab my multimeter and test to make sure that this has 12 volts to it when I turn the ignition on. All right, red should be hot. All right, and the yellow should be memory. All right, looking good, just making sure. We got two separate harnesses. This is what comes with the uh, Boss radio. And uh, simply just plug them into the back. And each one of these are labeled exactly where they'll go. Okay, I took the uh, piggyback out. And I got the two harnesses that go into the back of the Boss double den radio. I'm gonna go ahead, grab my solder gun. I'm gonna J-hook these tips here. Gonna solder them and heat shrink them together and make them look really good. And then we'll be able to plug and play everything right to that radio. Okay, got all my wires solder tinned on the piggyback cable. Time to do the other two for the boss radio. Got all the wires solder tinned here. Okay, if you don't know what a J hook is when you're soldering, pretty much when you solder the wire, you will make a J and then you will put them together so they're strong and then you can kind of close the J together and it'll create a super strong solder when it's applied. Once you put your two J hooks together and solder it, that's the connection you'll get. And then of course just put your heat shrink on over it. Alright, went ahead and got everything soldered, heat shrunk on there, even extended the um, remote wire for later accessories. This radio does have an option for a backup camera and a microphone. Might hook those up later, but we're going to go ahead. We're going to plug in the connectors to the Boss radio. Then once those connectors are in, we'll go ahead and plug in the piggyback to the stock radio harness. All right. Fortunately, the cables are long enough. The piggyback. I have everything connected to the Boss radio. I go ahead. Got everything connected. I'm going to go ahead and give power to it. Alright. Looks like it turned on. Let's see if everything functions properly. Get the keys out of the ignition. Open the door. Radio shuts off. I'm going to put the keys. I'm going to put it backwards in the accessory. The radio turns on. Take the keys out of the ignition. Open the door. All right. 
All right, now that everything functions properly, we're gonna go ahead and uh, install the radio back in. And if you're asking yourself, you know why I don't I paint the bezel, that'll be a later video down the road. But uh, for right now, we're just worrying about this radio working and functioning 100%. So we're gonna go ahead and assemble the vent and the uh, back window knob back on here and reinstall the bezel with the boss radio. Okay, if you wanna go ahead and just put those two screws back in once the whole bezel is pushed in the two screws that go right here in the bottom all right guys looks like we're good here got everything working uh you probably want to hear what it sounds like a little bit it's going to be coming you know it's not going to sound as good in person but um i'll try to get you something here playing here in a second all right guys just to show you some of the features here we got radio disc hands-free streaming we got SD, USB port, settings, camera for the backup camera. Um, you can come in here to the settings and mess with all your equalizers and everything like that. They have a bunch of presets in there. Uh, in the back of the radio, you will have um, RCAs for subwoofers, you know, all sorts of stuff, microphones, whatever you need, backup camera ports. But uh, nice upgrade, fairly inexpensive. Way bigger upgrade than the factory radio. Kind of gives it that... You know newer newer look to it but uh good radio and uh works very well overall I like it all right guys we got it connected here via bluetooth can't really play any music get a copyright infringement going on but uh we got some of yours truly monday to six videos we can show you that won't get demonetized All right, you can see we have a complete install on this Boss Double Den right here. Um, everything went well, install went good. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please let me know. There will be a link in the description uh, where to buy this radio and the pigtail and the bezel with the connectors on the back to hold the radio to the bezel. I'll make sure to get that in there. and. Uh, once again, thank you guys very much. Appreciate y'all. Um, Monday 86, out.